Um, the American Girl, American Girl uh, Beauty Salon thing. You have all these over here, guys. Look at that. I want to show you these humongous bean bags. Holy moly. A <laughs> little huge. I don't think I'd be getting them myself, but pretty neat. I just want to show you guys those. rack let's see what else we got over here picture frame muriatic acid um Take the bucket and this wicker bin. You know that works. Nope. All right. I'm gonna grab this little exercise bike. <clears throat> and it's nice because it folds up real small. All those fells, I'll just trade this in, get a new one.
hoping the the hose was here, but that's gonna be it. We ended up loading up guys at that last house. Uh, the camera was acting kind of funky with the, uh, just, just, I don't know. So I didn't film a lot there, but I ended up grabbing a bunch of bags, but it looks like same case here. Got a little crown with this. It's nice. Won't be digging too much into that. Some blankets. Yeah. are going to be, I don't know if I can donate those or not, to be honest with you. Well, let me look down here first. This unicorn bag with um, random stuff in it. And this backpack it has a bunch of books. Books that I can donate. That looks like an Alexa or something. One of those speakers. in here. Little shark vacuum. Yep, still works. But um, I need to go ahead and dump these contents in here. Take this little vacuum cleaner because it works. So that it might keep you in the truck. But this has a bunch of ooh, 
don't want to make a bunch of noise, that's for sure. Look at this, there's a bunch of dolls. Okay. This American girl thing here. game room decor or not game room but like a theater room Looks like someone's been here already. Trophies. Oh, underwear. Easy bake oven. Man. Let's see what else. A bunch of shoes. y'all the secret and the little secret is that I came by through here earlier today and there wasn't nothing out here and I was on my way home and something told me you can go by one more time glad I did Did they have to put all this stuff in one bag? There's a bunch of Legos in here, but also a bunch of crap. Oh.
big letter E. This bag's kind of hard to get to. I'm just going to go through it real quick. I really don't think there's anything in here. A bunch of awards. More trophies down there. Oh, that's kind of a cool jacket. There, guys. Put this back in here. Close it up. Oh, look. <laughs> Almost lost sight, sight of this completely. Clothing rack. Step it on something. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's all food. All right, I think we did good. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, next day. And I know I say this often in my videos, but man, it's hard for y'all to tell how busy or slow the night is um, just because I just film all the good stuff. Man, yesterday was so slow. It wasn't until we went back to the neighborhood that I started off with that I started finding a few more things, but we got a few bags to go through. Got an announcement, little change I'm gonna make to the channel. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I got an idea to how we could make this channel better for i guess everybody who likes to watch these kind of videos so what i'm going to do from now on when i have a lot of bags like this i'm going to film everything i'm going to film everything and we're going to get go through the bag and because some of y'all really like to go through the digging process and see what's in there and on the first video that comes out the video you're watching now for instance will be part one and i'll just show the highlights of all the best stuff that i found that i thought was the best stuff and uh make the video a little bit shorter for those who want to watch the entirety of me digging through everything and, and searching and seeing what i might have missed i'm gonna make a part two it should be out the same day if not the same day the next day or two so y'all keep an eye out for that i'm gonna do that with this video so you'll see part one today it's gonna be me just kind of showing you the highlights of the best stuff that we found and then part two will come out in the next day or two and y'all should start seeing uh, me do that anytime i find all these bags now i'm not always going to do that obviously because sometimes it's not bags sometimes it's just bigger stuff and there's nothing but just easy stuff to go through all right so with that said we're going to get started i uh, hope you guys enjoy the format let me know what y'all think if that's a good idea or not part one highlights part two everything all right so here is all the stuff right here guys it ended up being quite a bit 
of bags, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we're gonna dig through this stuff. There's gonna be a lot of stuff to go through and we're gonna get to it. I'm starting loading it and we'll set up right here like we usually do and dig through the stuff. Alrighty guys, so we went through this bag and this bag. I think the only thing notable to come out of here with these right here are more Adidas Boost shoes. I think these are the Yeezys. These are real nice. We've got that rainbow color to them. Um, also found all this jewelry. Uh, this is all Avon, so it's a costume. But you got some nice pieces. I think these are all brand new. I don't think uh, these have ever been worn. Uh, they're all wrapped up in like a little paper like this. And uh, this really nice piece right here. All right, guys. So we went through another bag over here. And uh, not a lot of really great stuff. Something that was cool is uh, got this pull-up exerciser, which is pretty neat in the box. So that's something I might take to the booth. Um, man, there was a bunch of nightgowns in here. And I was going to dismiss them. I was like, hey, I'm just going to go and just throw these away. But they're vintage. They're all made in the USA. And I looked some of these up. And some of them can sell for 20 30 bucks, even used. Um, I guess they're the silk ones. So I dug them back out of the of the uh, the bag there. And uh, I think we might be listing these. We got that. We also had some jeans that we found. Brand new. Riders. Uh, can't beat that. They're about a $20, $30 pair of jeans. And then you got these are Cherokee. I haven't looked these up. But, um, I mean, in great condition. Um, some mugs. Some other little things. And then we got this bag here. And we'll lot up a bunch of stuff together. It's a leather bag by Rossetti. Really, really good condition. Part one. All right, guys. So we went through another big bag. And that one had a bunch of clothes in it. We going to take a bunch of clothes to the donations. Uh, some real nice heavy jackets and stuff. So check out part two if you want to see that. But the stuff that I kind of liked the most was this dog here. I thought it was Victoria's Secret that made these. But I finally found it. It's by a company called Dan D. And uh, they're about 15, 20 bucks. So kept that to the side. It's cool little Iron Man. Cool Batman toy. Get those punches. A uh, little cabbage patch. Little doll. I'll probably donate that as well. And then this plastic John Deere uh, truck, tractor, I'm sorry. So, cool stuff out of that next bag. Another bag in the books, guys. There were some more new, some tag, you know, clothes with tags on them. About three or four more nightgowns in there. Some Croft and Barrow coats. This is a really nice coat right here. And this other one right here, Croft and Barrow heavy heavy coat so we put those to the side and then we had some of these honors uh like windbreakers i have to check into these because some of these might be worth some money and if they are uh we'll see if we can get those on the, on the market ourselves and then karen and scott it's like a pant and shirt set I'm not sure if they're brand new but I'll have to look them up to see if they're worth anything, but I thought it was worth showing here. And here's another one of these uh, honors, I think. No, this is a Cherokee. So we got that guy there. And lastly, this Memphis uh, coat. Good stuff. All right, guys. Well, we went through that bag. Uh, it was all clothing. Um, that one over there. I'm actually going to let my mom come through because a lot of those clothes look like something that she would wear. Some more of these same type of clothing. The Karen Scott's brand new tags. Guys, yeah, crazy. Um, also had, I don't know if I saw, saw those or if I showed you these, but these Cherokee six and a half shoes. Brand new. All right, folks. Uh, let's see. We went through that little bag. A lot of trash. That back's full. Uh, these are going to go. Let's see. I think my mom's going to come look at that one. And I'll come look at this one. To see if she's, there's any clothes that she wants. This is stuff that I'm going to take to donate. And this is just some of the highlighted stuff that we found. Some more of the little stuffed animal stuff. A bunch of kids clothes. Uh, some more toys here. That was really it. Not a whole lot going on. But uh, we're going to start getting to these other bags, these little white bags here soon. So we'll see what's in those. 
All right, guys, we went through another couple bags. This one were like a bunch of white bags like this from that one house that had like a lot of little kid stuff. And there's a few Barbie dolls. It looks like a Justin Bieber doll, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, some more toys. Um, let's see. A lot of these things right here, I forget what they're called, but you just like pop the little things in here, I guess to kind of keep you busy. And there's a bunch of them there. And of course you had some more clothes. Uh, note, noteworthy was this real nice uh, Lerman jacket. It's a Nationals uh, champion uh, cheerleading jacket. So uh, is that and also had a pin. One of these pins. So along with a Disney pin, which is a good one. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Uh, a lot of clothes again, but uh, here's some of the highlights. All right, folks, well, that was a fun bag that we just went through. Had a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, obviously, you can't go through everything, but some of the notable stuff that we found were these little side controllers for the Nintendo Switch. There's another bag over there. I don't think there's a Nintendo Switch in there, but, man, if there is, I'm going to be really excited. But there's another bag over there. We'll see what's in there. But, yeah, the two side controllers for the Switch. Um, you have this Lego set. It's uh, like a the, the dark... Stormtrooper a helmet. Uh, I don't know how complete it is. I doubt it's complete, but that's in there. Little leg of figurines. A bunch of other cool stuff over here, guys. Uh, I mean, lots to go through. And then a bunch of these little cards. I think these are from like Zelda, is what it looks like. Yeah, that looks like the old little link. So I'll go through there and see if these are worth anything, but this is pretty cool. A lot of stuff in that bag. That was a fun bag to go through. Let's check out the part two when it comes out so you guys see everything uh, up close and personal. Oh, and I did forget to mention that we did pull uh, four gift cards. So we'll see if there's anything on those. You got a Nintendo gift card, a Xbox gift card, and two Amazon gift cards. Uh, we'll see if we get lucky this time. Alrighty, folks. Well, what can we say? We found a trombone mouthpiece. It's a Yamaha 48S. I'll put comps right here to see, see what they go for. It's on an Amazon, uh, whatever she's called. This is for PlayStation. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, it's not an actual PlayStation controller, but they're for PlayStation. Um, maybe PlayStation 4. And a dollar bill. Pretty cool box, there's a bunch of clothes, some little neat things, but th that's the highlight from this section right here. The day is getting long, and here we are, the sun's starting to come down, and we're almost done guys, we're almost done. We're going to wrap it up here soon, but we're going to show you a few more things. We had this guy right here, which is the pressure washer. This sucker fell over on me, unfortunately and a bunch of oil spilt all over this thing unfortunately uh you got this cool little rack you got the margarita machine margaritaville the uh the picture's right over there what i'm gonna have to do is sell this for parts because unless i go and you know Try to find the try to find the cord because it looks like someone cut the cord to that thing. Um, tablecloth. We got the propane tank. Like I said, I'll, I'll just trade these in, pay the the charge for a new for the for the exchange, and you save a lot of money doing that. We got the sunny uh, small uh, what's it called. Oh man, I forgot about this guy. The sunny uh, bicycle thing. You got this little rack. I'm not sure what kind of rack this is for. It has hooks on it. So I don't know. I don't know what you would put in here. Maybe uh, sports equipment. You play baseballs and hang up bags and stuff. I'm not sure. Um. The American Girl 
American Girl uh, beauty salon thing. He has all these over here, guys. Look at that. Now, that wasn't one of the bags, and I don't know why I didn't record me taking it out. It was on the very top, and I took it out so that I could look at it, and then when I started going through the bags over there, I completely forgot and I had it in the trailer. But guys, that that can't be real, can it? It's a it's a Louis Vuitton. I mean, it feels it feels nice. It feels it feels nice. The stitching looks great. Look at the stitching on that. The stitching looks excellent. The tag looks good. It's old, you know. Louis Vuitton Paris. It's a briefcase. It's a Louis Vuitton briefcase. Um, is it is it real, guys? I mean, it looks real. Here's the. Now it's old, you know. Don't mind you. Don't you can't really look at the condition. And say, oh, the 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 zipper looks bad, but because this this is an old piece. That guy's could be the score of the night right there. But I gotta do some research. I gotta see if this is real, because I don't know. Briefcase by Louis Vuitton. Could be the best find that I've ever had, to be honest with you, if this is a real. Because this could be worth $1,000 or more. But, not to cut, not to sell everything else for it, but we got all the different home decor. My battery's starting to run low, so I'm gonna kind of burn through this really quick. The books, more home decor over here. We had the shark vacuum. That bag was full of books. You have the little portable TV, which I'll try to see to make sure if it works. I'm sure it will. You have this Justice, looks like a little, like a little suitcase. Um, I'm not gonna keep none of this stuff right here. This is all for something else. I do. Something else. Glitter girls. I mean, well, it might just go like that. Is this going here? Okay. I see now. Let me get this working here just a second. So this is what it is. It's like a little vanity set. A little drawer, little makeup brushes, what have you. Lipsticks, whatever you want to put in here. And the three little mirrors. To-do list. And then that guy. And of course, like I said, you got the little suitcase here. That's I don't know, I've got some junk in here. It looks like she spilled something in here. So it may not be in the head. Oh man, that's going to do it, guys. A lot of stuff that we went through today. Y'all let me know about the new format. Do you guys like the new format? Uh, short for the front end for part one. And then for those who want to see the long form video, can check it out for part two. Still got some cleanup to do, but that's pretty much it there, guys. All right, folks. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I had a lot of fun going through all the stuff. I can't believe some of the things that we find. Uh, that Louis Vuitton uh, briefcase, if that's real, that's going to be a money maker, guys. Um, the Nintendo Switch stuff, all the clothes, all the toys. I mean, it's just endless. But, you know, let me know in the comments what y'all think what the best find was. Uh, to me, it's kind of hard to... I really I really can't choose right now. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to go back to the video and to decide. But... Let me know in the comments. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought. Hit a like, uh, that helps me out the most. Uh, if you guys hit like, cause uh, lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job. So I do appreciate you guys doing that. All right, we'll close it out with this. Lord, I just wanna thank you so much, Father, for just your continued blessings. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to go out there and find the stuff, saving it from the landfill and get into the hands of people who are in need, people who can afford it um, and to donate it, Father, to uh, these nonprofits that uh, do a good job by serving you. Lord, I just want to thank you for our health. Continue to bless us with our health, Father. Continue to bless us with our marriages and financially, Lord, and, uh, and uh, keep us 
just uh, just in your word, Father. Keep us yearning for you, yearning for your love, for your wisdom. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time. Peace. Love you. God bless. See ya.